Entanglement theory basically says that if you have uh, one of these itsy bitsy little particles, these invisible things, but you smash them together and you bust it up and one part goes uh, out into the universe that way and another part goes, and this was a, a unity until it, it got busted up. They go off in different directions, sometimes uh, 70 or 80% of the speed of light, boom. Whatever happens to this one particle out here in some part of the universe is gonna happen at, to this other particle at precisely the same time. And if you put some spin on this one for some reason, this one's gonna spin too. If you put some reverse spin on it, it's gonna reverse too at the same, at the same precise moment. Because it's entangled. It's still one reality. Time and space have collapsed. This is still one reality. And what they're figuring out now, these, these smart folks, these physicists and scientists and whatever, they're figuring out that this is not only just true on the itsy bitty little micro level, but it seems to be true on the macro level as well. We are all entangled uh, with stuff. I mean, we get entangled with our jobs, we get entangled with our, our spouses, with our kids, with the houses we live in and the pets. We, we get entangled. And the way you know if you're entangled with something is when somebody takes it away and you have a reaction. Now, if they take it away and there's no reaction, then you probably weren't very entangled. So I don't need to find my special connection with ultimate reality. I already have it or it already has me. We're entangled. Yes, yes, you are entangled. I am entangled. We are entangled, now and forever. The only question is, do I choose to become conscious of the ultimate entanglement that I am and do I choose to practice and nurture this truth always at the very core of my existence. 